<laughs> Captain Buck, Captain Buck. What is it, Tiger? Wow. Did the snap actually leave tag? Well, well, let's find out. Let's look in the book in the next episode and see what happened. Alone once more, Snap trudged through the deepening snow following Bear Creek toward the deep blue waters of Crater Lake. He found a cliff overhang with no snow beneath it. He pawed leaves and needles into the resting pad and lay down. His breath came in short white snorts, marking the air from his nostrils. Snack, Snap's thick fur coat protected him against the icy winds. He lay in his protected shelter, watching the snowflakes shooting in front of him at sharp angles. Their repetitive movement was hypnotic. He felt warm and secure. When the storm let up, he would continue his journey into the unknown, looking for his mate. Until then, a fantastic world of swirling snowflakes danced before him. Snap thought about Tag. He missed the friendly coyote's carefree manner, his optimistic outlook. He wished the wily coyote had come with him. A puff of wind sent a cluster of snowflakes into his face. He crawled to a mound of snow piled up outside his cave. The distant odor of skunk permeated the air. Hmm. I wonder if this critter is lost or maybe a, a brave adventurer like me, he thought. As he entered the stand of pine, he came face to face with it. He stopped abruptly, not wanting to set off the protective system. Whoa, he said, save your ammunition. I'll just skirt around you and be on my way. Hold it, hold it, hold it, the skunk shouted. I'm... I'm out of my element, and, and you give me a ride, and I'll not riddle you with my perfume. But try to get by, and you'll get a fur fall. No, nah, you wouldn't do that, the unbelieving wolf said. Well, I'm desperate. I'm a lost, and he, the lost skunk retorted, and then turning his aim his weapon directly at Snap. The snow is getting too deep for me, and I, I can't keep waiting, his voice trailed off into a whimper. What's your name? Where are you headed? Snap asked, stalling for time while his mind scrambled for a means of escape. I'm a squirt, squirt skunk. I'm headed for the low elevation. I am. It's getting through the snow. It's hard for skunks. Well, it's hard for wolves, too. But we tough it out. Well, well, I can't tough it out. I'll die if I don't get out of it. Well, why did you come up too high in the first place? Curiosity, stupid curiosity. I'll bet you know what that is, I'll bet. You don't look like you belong here either, Snap thought. Yeah, the skunk is right. Curiosity is what got him so far away from Imnaha Valley. Well, curiosity and a primal urge. You're right, he admitted. I don't belong here, but I've come a long way to get here. I'm looking for other wolves like me, he paused, hoping for the answer he needed, but fearing <clears throat> what he was about to hear. None here, huh? Pesky coyotes, vicious cougars, terrible lynx, grabby, grubby hen, uh, hawks, uh, eager eagles, and other kind of conivers, but never seen one like you, Squirt said, his teeth chattering. Uh, how about it? How about a lift down the mountain? Well, well let's stop there. Uh, Tigger, is that okay? Wow! <laughs> oh, no, Dad and Tigger, we have to stop there. All right, everybody, run down, get a book, come up and sit down and read because you know what? Reading is the best thing. Books are the greatest treasure of all. So read. <laughs>